once up. Here's a common rasp. There you go. sorts of stuff needs to be replaced on this and it's in the sway link you got one of those put new shocks on a few weeks ago it's doing good put everything else on this truck look it's it's even got the original cam cams in there from the factory this whenever they brought it into an alignment they either didn't change this or they didn't need to it's got 210,000 miles on it about. So whenever I do an alignment, I pop them off. Even if I'm just changing this a little bit. But what that tells me is this bolt has never been loosened. And this arm is junk anyways. So this truck's ready for some, some upgrades, some new parts. We got a bunch in the garage that finally came in, so we're gonna start working on those. Today is the brakes. I gotta get this truck ready um, to go up north. Got some deer hunting going on, so any brakes to get up there. So, all right, so let's get do let's get going. So Minnesota truck. It's got tons of rust, and we're just gonna start with some of this. PB blaster on some of these bolts. So they're pretty bad. Let's get that back up. She's ready when we're ready. We're not ready. We just want to make sure it's easier to get this loose now before the caliper is just hanging around. So now we're gonna work on these back bolts. Lefty Lucy. Oh yeah. There she went. home bath. PB blaster bath. There she goes. Nice and easy. Yeah. Once. We're going to hook it up in here. Up in here. There we go. Come on, there you are. Okay, I made it work. I just went through it and back up. Much easier ways to do that. Bungee cord, ratchet strap, um, tall jack stand. You can just set it on a jack stand. But the main thing is you don't want this tight. You want it nice and loose like it is. Very good. Okay, now the rotor. Rotor. Oof. Well, studs look good. I mean, this has definitely been replaced at one point. Some guy really butchered it. Can't get it off. Okay, got the rotors out. Look at these things. Don't they look good? Look at that. Let's spray this down. You want all that oil and grease off. There we go. Did that with one hand. 
Sorry about this camera angle. Alright. I wanted to show you something on these brand new calipers I got from AC Delco. This metal slide that comes with the caliper. See how the bottom here is flat? See that bottom there is flat. This side, the bottom of that silver bracket angles up and the top is flat. So it goes around the that rubber piece, the slider uh, seal there. This side, it's backwards. And you can't flip these around uh, because I'm dropping this stuff here. Because this is the thick part. This is the thin part. You can't flip them. There's no way to flip them. So if you run these, you're, that that's going to make contact. That is making contact with this rubber part here. And that's that's not good. You're going to get a cut in there eventually. It's going to wear out prematurely. That's not good. So I looked at... So these came with the calipers. Um, I ordered these pads from Raybestos. And they also include these. And if you look at them, I haven't even opened them yet. But you can look at them. You can tell already, just by looking at them, they are all correct. You see how the top part is flat on all of them? Even this one here. And then the bottom part has the angle to go up around this boot. So these these work. This one doesn't. This one works. But this side is is backwards. They they made the cut on the wrong side of the metal. So don't use those. These are AC Delco uh, rebuilt calipers. Um, doesn't really matter where you order them from. Uh, make sure you look at that when uh, when you're putting these together. Put the bracket on. Like that. And then load it. And then put the caliper on. Alright, so we will be putting some Loctite on there. The blue stuff is the cool stuff. The red stuff is the dead stuff. Don't use that. Don't use that here. It's for something you don't want to come back off. Just brushed off my threads there. Now yeah, that's what. That's all you really need. It will even itself out. Get it tight for now. We will work these later. Yeah, 
and the pack only comes with one of these so you got to use it for the driver side and the passenger side so don't use it all on one side There you go. Just paint it like Picasso. That's all you need. I'm going to do the other side with the other stuff. It just doesn't seem like there's enough. Alright. Caliper time. Time for the caliper. There you are. Yep, make it that guy. Just like that. Put that in there. Top one. See? Check it out. There it goes. Just like that. Let's tighten him a little bit. Oh yeah, he's going good. See that seals. So you see how that seal is? It's not not catching on that thing yet. So we're gonna try and move them over something that's not sharp. Maybe we'll back them up a little bit. Give us some back some room. get over that. that boss there it is see that so hold it like that I'll turn it there you go so see that rubber bushing that rubber seal wanting to back up. We don't want it to back up. We want you to stay up here. It's not going. Damn it. There, so I got her. I just needed two hands without holding the camera. So, there, she's good now. Okay, the copper is on there. That one's ready. Copper here. Put this down. There's something I forgot to mention before. This is the bleeder. Make sure it's on the top part of the caliper so you don't have like passenger side on the driver's side probably bolt right up but the bleeder would be down here instead of up here all right so I'm gonna take everything apart here off let's put this, put this guy back on now this one was Just snug. Do not break that bolt. Because that would suck. And then this guy just gets snapped back in there. 
There we go. So that's on. All right. I think I got her done. So I ended up having to take this back off. And I use this file. I filed both sides of this rusty, crusty line. And I did it. Did the torque on it. This is torqued to 30 on my truck. I don't know about your truck. My truck, this is 30. These were 80. And then the one back here were 221. So that's what my truck was. I don't know what your truck is. You gotta do your research. This is where I get mine from. This is from All Data. It's an L3. Doesn't give me an HD option, but 2500 V8 6.0. That's what I got. You can see on here. I'll post this in there too. So you can probably pause it and look at this. But it shows you a different for 1500 series, 25 and 30 series. Um, that's 1500, 2500, 3500. That's what that 15, 25, 35 means, in case you didn't know. So there you go. So make sure you torque your stuff up. I'm good to go here. I'm gonna go do the other side. I'm not gonna film it. So I'm gonna knock it out. And then I'm gonna go give my one of my neighbors a beer and he can come push the pedal while I bleed it. Because I don't have a self-bleeder. I could also gravity bleed. If you haven't done that before, um, I've done that before. And that's just where you open up every bleeder just a little bit and it just seeps out and you just keep adding fluid to the master cylinder and the air just just flows it just flows out somehow um that could take like all day uh and you can't let the master cylinder go dry i've done that before and people have sworn by it saying it gives them the absolute best pedal feel they've ever had i don't know maybe it's just because you got new brakes i don't know but these definitely have air in them now that I have done this stuff. So, that's my video. Um, I got more stuff coming up. I got new arms coming. Uh, we're going to do these bump stops. They're gone. Uh, I got new bearings in the garage ready to go. Um, so, we're going to redo this. And so, stay tuned and hang out. Adios.